everyone needed someone. I have a social worker, Grace, from Safe Horizon. And so I reach out and I want the community to know that it's okay to go get counseling. I'm in a grief counseling and I'm able to cope and I'm able to take one day at a time because I'm now learning how to do that. The whole community is affected by the violence, right? Because um, there's two sides to every story and there's a shooter and there's a victim. So if one person is going to prison and one person is deceased, then there's two families affected by that, right? Then both of these people from the community all have friends and loved ones. Keandre was my little cousin. So I was there from, you know, the time he was born to the time he was gone. The year before that, a friend was shot and killed in front of me. I hate to say that we're immune to it, but you kind of get numb to it because you've been seeing, like, we've been seeing this since we were kids. Like, I've seen many groups, I've seen many, many marches, but it still happens. It'll never really hit you until it hit home, until it hit your family. It's a snowball effect because again, um, when one person is shot, one person is killed, you know, we understand that immediately 50 to 100 people are affected, right? You have the people who are on, um, you got family members, you got friends, you have the community, you have the other side. People are angry, people got issues, so conflicts are constantly, constantly, um, you know, coming up and individuals are handling them the only way they know how and that's being violent. The first thing we try to do is change their mindset. A lot of people, they may think that we're robots and we're immune to it, but we're not. And we are affected by it um, because it's a lot of trauma for us. Um, you know, my father was murdered when I was 10 years old and I grew up with that. I should say Iron Mike, he probably told you that part of his story with his father. You know, and, and that's traumatic. Like, you know, this thing happened, and even though it happened, we, you know, we as a family, we're trying to move on, but we can't move on because, like, it, like we gotta walk past the place that happened, right, every day, like. It is killing me, it's killing my family, it's killing the neighborhood. We need to start getting the guns out of our neighborhood. Because that's where anger really comes from, when you don't feel like you're heard, when nobody's listening. It's okay, it's okay to speak to somebody. It's okay to look elsewhere.